Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fall tutorial for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So it is kind of a, of course, very warm, um, slightly like glittery, shimmery sort of a look. It's using an amazing pigment from Inglot. Oh my gosh, this is just incredible. It's so gorgeous. So kind of wanted to just do a look around this shadow. So this is the look that we're gonna do today. So if you wanna see how to get it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already applied some eye primer. So now I'm gonna take my Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette and I'm gonna get some of Undressed and Undeniable on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And do a little combo of those two and apply that right into my crease and transition area. take a small kind of pointed crease brush. I don't remember where this is from. I think it might be like BH Cosmetics or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to get some of Unwind and I'm going to put this on my outer corner and inner corner and then connect them across my crease. take that same brush and I'm gonna get some of Unafraid and I'm gonna put more of this in my outer corner but I am gonna put just the tiniest little bit on my inner corner as well and I'm gonna go in with a beautiful pigment from Inglot this is the pure pigment eyeshadow in number 82 so first, I'm gonna prep my eyes, the middle of my lid, with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, so apply a little bit of that. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Detailer Brush and get some of the pigment on there, wet it with my MAC Fix Plus, and then pat it on my lid. I wanted to tell you before I like get into it because it's a process. So here we go. This pigment in the middle part of my lid. It is such a pretty color. Then you can go back in with your darker colors and kind of build those up. I would tap them on more than blend them on right now because you've got your pigment so you don't want to disturb that. So I'm just going to kind of like pat it to build up that color just a little bit more. liner for my upper lash line I'm going to use my Milani stay put matte 17 hour wear liquid liner this is in coffee matte and then on my lower lash line I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in roach and then over that liner on my lower lash line I'm going to take some of unleashed on kind of the inner half and then a little bit of Unafraid on the outer half with my Sedona Lace EB21 brush. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm using my Prestige Total Intensity Beyond Lashes Dramatic Precision Mascara on my upper lash line and my IT Cosmetics Tightline Mascara for my lower lash line. Okay, moving on to the rest of my face. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, brows, and now for blush, I'm gonna use my NARS Madly, and I'm just applying it with a I don't know what this is, a Tarte blush brush I got in a set. And 
Now for just the tiniest bit of added warmth, I'm gonna take my NARS blush in Taos and just get the tiniest little tap of this and apply it just kind of right on the apples of my cheeks. I mean, I'm using so little of this because it's very pigmented, but I just want a little bit of added warmth. For highlighter today, I'm gonna to use my Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey, and I'm applying that with my Sephora Pro Contour number 79. Then for lips, I'm going to use my Jordana Tawny Lip Liner just to kind of define my lips. But really, honestly, I just can't not use Tawny, it seems like. And then I'm going to use my Buxom Lipstick in, this is one of their Bold Gel Lipsticks, and this is in Evocative Petal. So that's the finished looking tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what some of your go-to products are for the fall. Like what kind of makeup things do you love to play with this time of year? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!